Hey guys, we're back with another developer preview here, this time for Pyware 3D version 9.2, where we're taking a look at the proximity match function and kind of revisiting how that works. In case you're not aware, proximity match uh, is a matching option that takes a look at the transition that you've created and basically tells the performers to take the path of least resistance, meaning collision, stride, things like that, uh, to make it easier for you going into these transitions. So we have a couple examples here. This first one that we're going to take a look at uh, might be something you'd see at a college halftime show or something similar. We just have a block of people that's going to transition into a block lettering. We have our old 3D logo here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select everybody. And you'll see that the current matching uh, kind of a hot mess. So if I click on proximity matching, cleans it up for us automatically. Everything looks much better. If we take a look at the animation, looks pretty good. There may be a little bit of an issue down at the bottom of the letters there that we can just clean up. Uh, all we do is just flip a couple people. And this guy right here. Take a look at that animation again. Okay, that one's looking pretty good now. So that's all we had to do. Proximity match, flip one or two people, and that one's done. All right, example two. Let's start the same way. We'll start with a block. This time we're going to go a little simpler, though. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, let's just do like a circle. How about that? So for circle, two clicks on the field, one for the center point, one for radius. You can see by default, Pyware is matching based on order entered, uh, which doesn't work particularly well for this transition. So let's stop that. Uh, let's do proximity match. It cleans it up for us pretty well, actually. It doesn't look like anything has to be done. And then at that point, even if you wanted to, you could, I don't know, maybe rotate it a little bit, add a little bit, uh, a little bit more for a visual effect. But just one click and done with that proximity match new matching option. For the last example, we're going to take a look at a drill file uh, that was actually taught, written, taught, uh, performed, saw this particular set and a way that I think the proximity match could improve upon it. So let's look at this animation and you'll see that there's a little bit of a collision, maybe really close pass bys uh, with a couple of performers here. Take a look at the mellows, the saxes, the clarinets. It, it gets a little dicey. So let's see if we can use the proximity match function to clean that up. Now, uh, you'll notice that we're happy with the, the way the guard is moving. So the, the guard's all right. So we only need to select the, the winds and the percussion or the battery. So I'm just going to use my lasso tool to grab everyone except the guard. Uh, we're leaving the guard uh, deselected. Open up the matching. Click on proximity match. Uh, it doesn't look like too much changed here. And now when we look at this animation, Looks like a much better transition, a little safer for everybody, a little cleaner as well. So that's a wrap for this developer preview of the improved proximity match function in Pyware 3D. Look for this and other key enhancements and features in the 9.2 update, which will be free for existing version 9 users.